What is going on, bros and babes? So today we'll be unboxing the Herman Miller Aeron Ergonomic Chair. It retails for just under $1,000 Canadian at dealers like Gabriel Ross, and though this price could seem a lot to some, in the long run, I think it's well worth every penny. When you consider its 12-year warranty and combined with the fact that to most people, it will put their posture in the perfect seating position, reducing back strain and fatigue, it more than pays itself off in the health of your back, productivity, and the fact that it lasts you about three to six times longer than your average El Cheapo Staples chair. In my opinion, I believe this is a great investment for every graphic designer, programmer, or anyone else who works long hours at their desks and computers. So the first thing you'll see on the box is a warning saying how two people should lift it. I was able to lift it with my pinky finger and baby toe, but that could be because of the buckets of testosterone and nandrolone injections. And on the other four sides, you have either Herman Miller or the logo shown. So the first thing you do obviously is cut these straps, which were made to secure the box as well as act as a handle. The lid off. And I'll just move the camera around so you can see what it looks like from top down. You have a bit of protective, sorry, a bit of protective plastic and some foam. Get a wider shot. So that was actually easier than it looked. I thought you had to lift it out of it, but no, you just had to move the box. So here's what it looks like, guys. It looks pretty nice. It's got the mesh back and the mesh chair. And it's got your posture fit, I believe it is, on the back, uh, which is fully adjustable. And other than that, uh, these are adjustable as well. And down near the bottom, over right over here, is the warranty information. As you can see, it's card over here, and probably the user's guide. It says on the front, read this while adjusting your Aeron chair and the Herman Miller and the logo. And you also have some basic info that you probably don't need to know about. And yeah, I tried it out at the Herman Miller dealer for quite a while and I'm about just under 5'10", 170 pounds right now and this is the size B. And it does feel really good and it fits me really well. I pretty much have no complaints all right guys, so this is what the Aeron looks like fully adjusted to my settings as well as with all the packaging material off. I'll just be doing a quick rundown of what all the settings and adjustments do. So the first thing you have is your arm pivot. You can angle it in or you can angle it out and you can also adjust the arm height. Lift, lift the leather, push it up or down. And on this side, the switch facing more towards the rear is your tilt limiter. So you can't tilt back at all. And facing more towards the front is your forward tilt adjustment. So 
all you gotta do is lean all the way back, lift the forward tilt, and when you go back forward, it's tilting a bit forward a bit more. And we'll just fix that. Back to normal. And on this side, you have this knob over here in the center is a height adjustment. All the way up or all the way down. This bigger knob is the tilt tension adjuster, which lets you lean back easier or harder depending on which way you turn it. And lastly, you have your posture fit suspension system, which is for lower back support. You can use this knob to adjust it. And it kind of pushes your lower back in and out for better spine alignment. And in case any of you are wondering how to find out the size of your aileron chair if you had one, you just have to go underneath the top lip of your chair and feel underneath and you'll feel a series of dots. One dot is A obviously, two is B, and three is C. So I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing for the Herman Miller Aeron ergonomic chair. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time YouTube, peace!